My brother's new girlfriend mocked me at dinner and everyone laughed. My dad told me to stop making the family look bad, so I let them mock me until she mentioned her job. Then I pulled out my phone and watched their smiles fade. I'm a data scientist, built my own company from scratch. But to my family, I play with spreadsheets in my basement. It was Sunday dinner, the kind my mom insists on. My brother Alex brought his new girlfriend Chloe, first time meeting her. She worked at some big venture capital fund and made sure everyone knew it. Within five minutes, she had me in her crosshairs. So, you're a programmer? She asked, the way you'd say janitor. Data scientist, I corrected. I run my own- Oh, that's adorable, she cut me off. You have your own little spreadsheet company. It's so sweet that your hobby pays the bills. The table erupted, not mean laughter. Worse, that patronizing kind. My dad jumped in. Your brother builds things, Jason. Real estate, tangible assets. You just sit in a dark room and type. My mom nodded. We worry about your future, honey. It's so unstable. Alex draped his arm around Chloe. She's a firecracker, isn't she? I tried explaining what I actually do. I've been developing forensic accounting AI. It detects sophisticated financial fraud. Chloe waved her hand. Honey, leave that to the big players. My firm is actually looking to acquire a small AI company right now. She looked me up and down. Real professionals. They have a brilliant algorithm that's going to change everything. She paused, smiled. It's a bit out of your league. Alex snickered. My parents nodded along. I put down my fork. The clink echoed in the sudden silence. Jason, don't be rude. My father hissed. Stop making the family look bad. I picked a fork back up. Stayed quiet. Let them have their moments. But my mind was racing because three months ago, I'd gotten a call from Sterling Westwood, a massive tech conglomerate. They wanted to acquire my company. The deal was so secret, even my family didn't know. The acquisition was finalizing next week. Eight figures. They wanted me to head their entire AI division. And Chloe had just described my algorithm, my company. She kept talking. The founder is some small-time guy. Thinks he's building something special. She laughed. We've been studying his work for weeks. Once we acquire it, we'll have full access to reverse engineer everything. My heart went cold. That's smart business, my dad said, looking at me. That's what real success looks like, Jason. Chloe nodded. The best part? This guy has no idea we're planning to launch our own version right after. We'll undercut him completely. He'll be obsolete before he knows what hit him. She took a sip of wine. Poor bastard. Alex raised his glass. To crushing the competition. I reached for my phone. Opened my email. Found the message from four days ago. Subject, final acquisition documents. Sterling Westwood. I turned the screen toward them. Slowly. Let them read it. Chloe saw it first. Her wine glass stopped halfway to her mouth. Her face drained of color. That small time guy you're talking about? I said. My voice steady. That's me. The table went silent. My company is Aurelia Analytics. Sterling Westwood finalized the acquisition this morning. I signed the papers yesterday. My father started to stand. Jason, what? And the CEO of Sterling Westwood? I continued, looking directly at Chloe. Harrison Mitchell. He's your firm's biggest investor. Actually, he owns 40% of VCF. Chloe's phone started buzzing. Once, twice, five times in 10 seconds. She grabbed it with shaking hands, opened her email. Her face went from white to green. What you've been doing is called corporate espionage, I said calmly. Attempting to reverse engineer proprietary technology without authorization. Sterling's legal team was CC'd on every access attempt you made to our demo servers. Her phone kept buzzing. Email after email flooding in. Alex grabbed her arm. Chloe, what is he talking about? She couldn't speak. Just stared at her phone as her entire career imploded in real time. I stood up, grabbed my jacket. Thanks for dinner, Mom. It was enlightening. My father found his voice. You can't just- You're embarrassing this family. No, Dad, I said, looking at each of them. I just stopped letting you embarrass me. I walked out, got in my car. My phone rang five minutes later. Harrison Mitchell. Jason, I just got word about what happened at VCF. Chloe Martinez is being terminated. We're filing charges. He paused. I'm sorry your family treated you that way, but I want you to know we see your worth, even if they don't. I hung up and drove home. That was three days ago. Haven't heard from any of them since, and honestly, I've never felt more free.